A spray park and pond have been closed in Amherst during this week's heat wave. And Jack Wu with the 22 News Storm Team has the status of when these places to keep cool are going to open. Well, Sierra, during times of hot weather, these spray, park, spray parks and local ponds are essential for cooling off. Groff Park experienced a broken motor last week, while Puffer's Pond had high amounts of E. coli present. Groff Park opened its splash area again Wednesday afternoon. Joe Weiner with Amherst DPW says that they'll still monitor the park for any issues. Anything can happen. Uh, we're just looking at now if anything comes up. We're just going to keep working on it as hard as we can. I know it's frustrating. I just appreciate the public's patience while we work through this. That's all. Puffer's Pond, on the other hand, still has high levels of E. coli, according to a report. We spoke with people at the pond who explained the importance of areas like this. It's like a place of community and obviously you don't have to pay, so a lot of people can go there with their families and not have to worry about any financial costs. Humans and animals alike can both get sick from swimming in waters with E. coli present. Symptoms can include fever and vomiting, and they may last up to two weeks if left untreated. While the pond is closed without a clear timeline for opening, Ray Zimmer from Irving told 22 News he'd rather stay safe than take a swim. And it's for a real reason, so people don't get sick. So, I mean, you really can't fault anybody for that. There are people that are trying to keep people safe and healthy. And if you have to take that one on the chin and not go swimming for a day, then that's what you got to do, even if it's a week or so. While there is no timeline for the pond's reopening, the water will be tested again on July 17th. Working for you, I'm Jack Wu with the 22 News Storm Team.